uh, client and I were chatting yesterday uh, and we're currently going through a phase of um, kind of optimizing their chatbot. So looking at um, all the data we've managed to gather since we launched it, it's over six months old now, uh, looking at uh, elements of it, so fallback, how that's working. With this client, they've got three different conversational tracks, so analyzing each one individually, also looking at um, when they hit a particular conversation track, how we kind of better guide that to a, uh, a call to action, a goal, uh, how we have better metrics. So we're going through that whole um, conversational uh, commerce optimization phase, which is one of my favorite parts. You know, you've got to have some good, some good data. I think if you're having a lot of conversations, you can do it around the 12 week point, maybe get three months of good data. Uh, with this client, they're not getting thousands of conversations a week. So we've let it go to six months. So optimization time is perfect now. And one of the conversations we were having, uh, and she actually brought this up, was can we start the conversation differently on different pages, which is something I like to do. Uh, I understand why people don't do it. Uh, but for instance, if you're on uh, the page that is focused on recruitment, start that conversation off literally with a greeting or a welcome message that is focused around uh, around recruitment you know the first thing you're gonna you're gonna want to do is um is kind of big up your business you know you want to you want to attract the best people this company actually does really really well in terms of uh, of staff retention but on the flip side they're a growing business so they're always looking for for new talent so it's you know a, a little welcome message with a bit of marketing in it and then guide that conversation down that recruitment conversational track to the call to actions don't get me wrong they can head out of that and explore other areas of the business where there are conversations and rightly so you know if you're going to work for this big organization you want to go and research their products and services on the flip side of that it it will actually focus the conversations as well so you can start to record all recruitment conversations across the whole site, and then you can record the quality of the conversations that come by the recruitment page or pages. So you can see if we can get people to that recruitment page to have the conversation, are we having better quality conversations with them? So this is kind of where we're at, at the moment, optimizing, looking at where we can do a better job of having conversations and the end goal the starting goal is to have as many conversations with um, uh, on the recruitment track uh, or the service or product tracks um, as possible but then also get the highest percentage possible to a call to action and in terms of the recruitment you want them to actually have a human to human conversation because that's kind of that's kind of where the filtering is happening uh, obviously, you're going to send them to the job page because it tells them a lot more. But really, we want to try and drive them to speak to uh, someone in recruitment so they can be um, filtered uh, and they can get the best quality candidates. So consider that with your chatbot, especially in bigger organizations. Start the conversation differently depending on the page they're on or the conversational track that they're taking. So if it's around that particular product, uh, start the conversation on that page around that product. Uh, you can always give other options and send them elsewhere. It's not an issue. Hope that's useful. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.